Howdy folks, and welcome back to this Let's Play of Stellaris. My name is Cornelius, and let's load the end of the last save game, which we were playing as the Digital Realm. So, where do we stand at the moment? We had some trouble in the last episode where we had an uprising on one of my worlds. Relatively newly colonized world, so we basically were quickly overrun by the, the local fauna, so to speak. Um, I'm going to basically recruit some defensive armies, I think. Yeah, I'm going to basically put some defensive armies in place here, just to make sure that does not happen again. I'm going to merge these two into one as well, just to make sure I've got uh, yeah my armies combined here. Just entering orbit there, just to reduce our costs of maintaining it. Okay, that's our armies in place there. Slowly that number is rising, which is good. We need to basically look at what we're going to do against these guys here. They've placed some outposts here, they've placed some new colonies there. Okay. There's a tiny little outpost of theirs over here. Question is who will be their next enemy really? They haven't really decided yet. They have not decided yet. So let's actually have a look at the diplomatic map here. From the perspective of these guys here though, who complete. is their biggest enemy? It's hard to say. What is this here? What have we got here? Mineral riches, okay. So a brief look in that system itself. We built ourselves a new observation post and we're basically going to do indoctrination here as being the key metric. And we're basically going to build ourselves a wormhole station in system as well. Back to our regular complete. map. You could of course look at my opinion map here as well and basically see that these guys here got better opinion of us than the, uh, the other guys. <clears throat> um, what can I do with these guys? How can I basically get them to be even friendlier? Construction complete. Not much, I guess. We finished some research, which is good. Habitability increase. Mm, no, I'm not going to go for that at the moment, I think. Let's go for the clone armies initially. That's us. These guys don't like us. These guys here are okay with us, it looks like. Yeah, as you can see, they got a positive attitude towards us. For a trade deal, maybe a good in in way of basically giving them something. Get them to be even friendlier as such. Where can we focus in on? Let's do these here in that order. Here we can, of course, build a nice mine. There's lots of mining opportunities here, it looks like. Loop Institute can be built here, covering ethics, attraction, happiness, increase, etc. etc. Of course, a new deal is being accepted here by the guys that we offer it to. Alright, let's kick up the game speed again back to the maximum. Our fleet at the moment has got a decent strength, I would say. 112,000. Construction complete. Unist system, neutronium ore. Transport fleets. These guys here, they are currently vassals to the Research complete. Are they to the Tundrakian reclaimers? Oh sorry, rebels of the Tundrakian reclaimers, okay. Finished more research, it looks like. Our cloning has been completed. Ooh, gene tailoring. Let's go for it. Mere nine months. Should, should be a relatively quick one to complete. Construction complete. Society research it really is getting nice boosts now. Let's get a bit of production in terms of power output on here as well. 
power stations, food production we can do something with here. There are nice plains that we can of course clear here as well, or glaciers I should really say. And once we've done those, we should be able to do a bit more production of other things as well. Frontier Clinic. Here I will be building a one of these ones. No, no, I gotta wait a little bit because I'm really looking for the uh, Loop Institute, which I don't see here at the moment. Hopefully that comes in a minute. Lots more upgrades possible here, as you can see already. Institute here or a loop institute here. Let's build it here then. Let's see how we can benefit from that. Still a good location. More food production. And lots more upgrades possible as you can see again. I'm pushing through those upgrades to just get to the next level again. Hot point increase is good. Completed that. Quantum missiles, let's get those researched and completed as well. And then at two months away from now, we should see the, well, actually more than two months, six months away from now, we should see the next upgrade possibility. Okay. Here, where I'm going to focus in on it in this one, let's go for that one there. Quite a few more upgrades coming through. Here, I'm going to build an extra. What am I going to build here? The Loop Institute, maybe? No. Natively, this one collects how much? It says two. Do I want to build a food production booster there? Yeah. That would make sense, I guess. And then, of course, there is our <coughs> gene tailoring that we can do. And, of course, this one's quite interesting again. Or we can actually go for the upgrade of our farms. Let's go for the farm upgrades because, again, food output growth, uh, food output increase will actually help with our population growth. Of course, also, if we basically got more food output already occurring, it means we can actually yeah, dedicate less land towards food output because, yeah, we can actually still produce the same amount of food, but with less use of resources. So, our main military fleet is still in orbit here of a planet. There's no technological upgrades possible for that as of yet. Why did I build an extra one here? I'm not quite sure. 10,000 for a century array. Yeah, I'm probably gonna build it here somewhere. Maybe let's put it into this system here though. Let's enter orbit here first. <coughs> Time out. Governor Litha has leveled up and gained the substance abuser trait, unfortunately. It's a pity. That is indeed a pity. Alright, let's have a look at our actual space ports here as well. Do we need to basically build some upgrades here to these? Pushing their borders as well. A bit of a 
agree that that happened, but uh, okay. Construction complete. Stand. Keep the game speed at the maximum. Research still ongoing. Five months to completion of the quantum missiles. Then, next one after that will be the actual hydroponic farms, number four and number five. We've made strides in riding, uh, sorry, ridding the Averbians of the superstition and prime beliefs that, the, that have plagued their society. They're beginning to see the value of science and rationality. Late medieval ages. Population is still relatively small. Only three of these. Happiness is at 55%. Yeah, okay. Can handle that, I guess. Loop Institute should be. Ooh, many of the new digital inhabitants of the Mercurius Secundus have turned to. Genetic modifications to help them cope with the planet's hostile environment. The change they have made to themselves are being passed on to their offspring, and their physical appearance is changing at an alarming rate. They've started referring to themselves as the Neo Digitalis Varitius. And this is on the world Mercurius Secundus. Interesting. So these are Neo Digitalis. Ah, there's a few of them, not too many. Thunder preference. Uh, so the preference of worlds is changed. Adaptive natural sociologist, member of the. Okay. Okay. So, in terms of demographics, that has a minor impact. Yeah, how many is there? <laughs> how many are there? So, there's only two of them, really. Ruler opinion impact minus twenty five repugnant. Well, okay, if you're repugnant, then so be it. <clears throat> they are significantly different, aren't they? Right, what can we do with these neighbors of ours? We can actually modify them if we wanted to. Choose where we want to basically modify them. Which worlds? Nomadic, uh, of course we can actually boost their reproductive rate. Rapid breeders. Situation log updated. All right, that's the three month project. So that should be a relatively quick one. Modifying our little friends. Research complete. Completing a bit of research here. Swarmer missiles. Don't know what's the key benefit of that, but it's a relatively quick one to complete once again. And that bit will be completed complete. in one month, if not less. And it should be now completed. Yep, it's gone. I haven't actually built here yet is a frontier clinic. Frontier clinic should help quite nicely once we get it up and running. Go on again, the level always welcome. So look at our leader list. We got 19 out of 20 at the moment, which means if I look at my sector list as well. I should be able to see that there's a couple of key sectors here that could use a governor, like for example this one. Now what are we going to do with this one? We're basically going to focus in I guess on this stuff here. There we go. It should help out quite nicely. Cool. 
cool. Black hole up there. Construction complete. Result Maybe we should complete. just deal with this Stellarite Devourer here. That would be an interesting one to go for. A lot of better research completed this. They uh, soar missiles, kinetic weapon attack speed, uh, strike craft damage. Let's go for that one. Extra 10%. <coughs> Alright, let's pause the game for a second. Sorry about that, the small uh, interruption. Um, so we're currently on our way here, but I'm going to run into a deficit in terms of minerals. So to basically prevent that from happening, I'm going to speak to the traders, buy some extra minerals. That should do for the moment. Deficit is not that big, but uh, okay. Construction complete. Production queue is finished here, it looks like. We should see the benefits of that Frontier Clinic coming in relatively quickly. What else would benefit us here? <clears throat> Construction complete. Okay. Construction Let's look complete. at where we are now. Still a few jumps away. <clears throat> Still a fair number of jumps away, I should maybe say. Construction complete. <clears throat> Construction complete. Okay. <clears throat> Let's upgrade these buildings here. Unused building there now. Moving a person onto there. Right. So our strike craft are still en route. <clears throat> Is that a single jump they're making from there to there? If they do, that would be nice, wouldn't it? there <clears throat> somehow we could just reduce these these legs that we got here ah the size of the navy also AC increases it <clears throat> it's also impacted by whether or not we're in friendly territory or not Resume. These guys are my vassals, so I should really be placing, of course, we're more stations around here. Not sure why I'm not done that already. Same with these guys here. And again, the same goes for that one there then. I should really have placed more more stations here. Now, we have just completed research for the hydroponic farms, which is good. Leader lifespan increase or the food output. Ooh, food replication, that's an interesting one. But gene banks, clone commandos, that sounds like an interesting one. And we're one jump away from that world now. <clears throat> Research complete. So not too long. Ah, planetary sensor range increase. Guardian point defense, plasma cannon. Let's go for the plasma cannon here. See what kind of uh, positive benefits that will bring to me. <clears throat> Hostile fleet engaged. Cool. Look at that. That is a cruiser that got almost straight away obliterated. Incoming transmission. Wow, 
look at that force of that beam. And we are we are damaging it now. I'm not saying we're not suffering losses, but we are taking them down. Look at that paddle ship there. The Stellar Devourer has been vanquished. It remains are curled up and evaporated, leaving only its digestive system and the stellar matter it contains. Our science teams have urged us to examine the remains. Maybe there is some profound knowledge that we may... Uh, that it from understanding its digestive system. Okay, well, let's study the course. So let's issue a research project for that one. And we will need a science ship for that purpose. So I'm actually going to send a science ship here to work on that research project itself, and I'm going to send these guys back for repairs. Cool. That was not as costly as I was afraid it would be. Oh yeah, once that ship comes into here as well, we're also basically going to be able to do a survey of the system itself. <clears throat> Good. Nice bit of work. Construction complete. Very nice bit of work. <clears throat> Construction cool, complete. Cool. So one month for the clone commanders, it looks like. Once we complete that, that'll be great. <clears throat> Construction complete. 8% complete. Relatively young age, 69 years old, compared to the, the life expectancy of what is it, 180 or so. Right. Ooh. Targeted gene ex expressions. Trait points plus one. Nice. Let's go for it. There we go, 96, 98. Ah! <clears throat> Study of the Devourer sh uh, Shining remains have left our scientists perplexed and amazed. The star feasting being is in itself a miniature fusion uh, furnace, harvesting solar matter to synthesize all energy source uh, on an energy source of its own. Since the body still contains significant amount of sol uh, solar matter from the star of the Quam system, the one, the one it last fed from, it could be possible to extract the energy and reinvigorate the star. Harvesting the corpse heat for our uh, own ends would satisfy our energy need in the short term, but it would doom the system to an eternal ice age. Okay. What am I going to do here? Energy, or let's reinvigorate the star. And again, there is first a research project required for that before I can actually and survey the system in full, which is fine. Let's go for it. So we're going to be finishing this in about two months' time. nine days left. Now I do want to basically send my ships back to this side of the galaxy here really. Simply for the pure fact that yeah we would love to be able to of course yeah defend ourselves from our neighbors. The project has paid off but at the cost submerging the stellar devourer into quam stars caused the solar furnace to shine a bit brighter but also to spew out solar flares that engulf the ISS ambassador and its crew in a roaring inferno. There were no survivors. The planets in the system are heated up, reaching temperatures levels close to their original form, which is unfortunate. Um, that is quite nice. Look at that. Right, so new science ship here. Let's survey the system here quickly. <clears throat> As you can see, there's two habitable worlds here, two tundra worlds. 
and we lost one of our scientists. Hmm. Okay. Slave world. Slave world yet again. These guys are not happy, it looks like. <laughs> Understandably so. Understandably so. Okay, let's upgrade these buildings here. I actually should be able to upgrade buildings on pretty much all of my planets, really. At least all the planets where we still have food production occurring. Because, of course, our advances in terms of the research of hydroponics. still farms on many worlds, which is good. Because, yeah, without food production, we would be lost. Construction complete. This is a very, very favorable world for food production, it looks like. Any issue where we got a shortage of resources, but it's still nice to see that we're actually advancing quite nicely through all of these fields here. Perfect. Now I'm going to go back to my main world here and set this again as a potential target for our ships. So if I look at these targets that we got here. Can remove this target here now. Perfect. Construction complete. I can offer him a trade deal. Active sensor links. Active sensor links. They're not too happy with that, it looks like, but uh, okay. How can I make them happy? Construction complete. System research here, which should be fine. <clears throat> structure but I do need enough resources for that first. Sentry array site is the really one that I want to go for at the moment I think. <laughs> Construction complete. Expansion planner. <laughs> Looking at the size of this, that's quite nice. <clears throat> Very nice, really. Construction complete. Alright, looking at the clock, it's about time for us to call it a day again. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care in the meantime. Bye bye.